Okay, what I'd like to do is show you how to, um, to find the vertex of this polynomial. Now, there's a lot of different, there's a couple of different ways to find the vertex of the polynomial, but um, one of the simplest ways, you could also complete the square, but a lot of students have really trouble with completing the square. So I'm going to show you a, just by using the vertex, um, actually formula, and to go ahead and find actually the vertex. So um, the vertex of an equation can be written as opposite of b all over 2 times a, comma, f of opposite of b over 2 times a. So first of all, this might be like, what the heck does all that stuff mean? Well, really, we know that a quadratic, this is a quadratic um, polynomial, and can be written in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. So in this problem, I can say a equals negative 2, b equals 2, and c equals 1, right? So the first thing is let's find out what our first coordinate, or let's find out what our x coordinate is of our vertex. This is also what we call the axis of symmetry. So to find this, I'm going to take opposite of b, which would be a negative 2, all over 2 times a, which is negative 2. Well, this becomes a negative 2. 2 times 2 is a negative 4, which equals to 1 half. So therefore, my first coordinate is 1 half, comma. Then what we have is f of that coordinate. You notice this is just rewritten as an f of that. And that's the same thing as, let's look at the equation. Let's do f of x. Let's pretend I had f of x equals x plus 1. And I said find f of 1. Well, then you're going to plug in 1 in for x and determine what it is. So f of 1 equals 2. Well, it's the same thing here. I need to figure out what this is. Then I'm going to say find f of that value. Well, my value is 1 half. So then what I'm going to do is now plug in 1 half into my function. And, you know, this technically would be a function. So I'll say f of opposite b over 2, f of 1 half, and it's going to be negative 2 times 1 half squared plus 2 times 1 half plus 1. All right? Well, 1 half squared is 1 fourth, so it's a negative 2 times 1 fourth plus 2 times 1 half is 1 plus 1. Well, negative 2 times 1 fourth is going to be a negative 1 plus 1 plus 1. Those will cancel to 0, so I'm left with 1. So I'll say f of 1 half is equal to 1. So just to recap, remember when you're doing these types of problems, make sure you can use the vertex form. Make sure you find where your a, b, and c are. Plug them in to find your x coordinate or axis of symmetry. Then plug that value back into your equation or function to find your y value.